If you've been following my live streams, then you know I've been asking the question to every single one of you. Do you even art? And I'm here to go ahead and walk through a painting of a giant tentacle creature with a huge eye on his head who's kind of posing for his college portrait. He's a hit at parties, he's a hit with the ladies, so let's go ahead and continue through here with episode 5 of Do You Even Art. Before we begin, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, and we're going to get started right away. So if you're watching the live stream, um, you saw right before I uh, picked up from here. Basically where I'm kind of going with this piece at first was more of a portrait style um, photo. Like just a weird little one-eyed creature going ahead with the photo. Uh, because he's proud. He's proud of himself. He's happy. He has a nice bright smile. Uh, as you'll see... As I go along, things make a pretty drastic change. You are watching this sped up by almost about 3,000%, <laughs> just so you know. Um, what we're looking at with this is I started to pull up some airbrush. I thought maybe just airbrushing it would make it feel a little bit better. It wasn't feeling right. <clears throat> I started throwing some color in. wasn't feeling right. So I continued through and just decided to go to a, more of a painterly style brush which was probably the best thing that I could have done. Doing experimentation with your brushes and seeing what kind of works best for you is always fun. Because you might come across a brush that has a certain texture in it that kind of jumps out to you. So I went ahead and I was noodling around with contrast and trying to get things nice and dark and not going too much in detail yet. But once I got the contrast there that I kind of wanted, that's why I threw some color in. Uh, each layer for color I kind of put on a separate layer, trying something a little bit different instead of just kind of repainting color over kind of top of stuff. So I'm more just kind of tinting. Uh, I was using a little bit of a weird oil brush for a while. I didn't like that. <laughs> I went back to a uh, hard edge painterly brush and ended up not liking that. I started trying to throw some color in, thinking about the way the light was going to be hitting it a little bit more. Nothing was feeling right. So I just started going nuts. Took a really soft brush, a couple random colors, and that's when things started to feel a little bit more fun. Uh, I never really use bright pink and bright yellows in pieces, unless the, you know, drawing something pink and yellow. Um, I realized I didn't have a shortcut set up for flipping the canvas, so I went ahead and set that up real quick. Uh, normally I did, but this was a fresh install of my Wacom drivers. So I just started with a really, really soft brush here. And was going in and making it a lot softer. Giving it a little bit blurry edges. And things started to feel a little bit better. The one thing I will say with this is I'm not even close to being done. But never give up on a piece uh, unless you don't think there's anything else that you can really do. So there you have it. It may not have been a very long update this week, and it was only about four or five minutes. However, one of the most important things I'm trying to get across to you when it comes to your art is not give up on something, because I tried so much random crap with this painting so far, and was really ready to give up on it quite, quite often. So, what you need to do when you're going to painting, sometimes step away, flip the canvas horizontally, do anything that you really think could possibly really set the painting apart from what you may have originally planned. If you recall from my live stream, when I was doing this painting originally, what ended up happening was he had this kind of claw thing. I was just kind of like sitting there like that. And that claw thing turned into a weird tentacle over his shoulder. And it may not even stay a weird tentacle. I'm not sure. Don't forget to check back on Saturday for my live stream starting at 9.30, either then or 10.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Follow me on Twitter at that Stephen Rice. Follow me on Instagram at that Stephen Rice. Facebook at that Stephen Rice. Or just hit the subscribe button below and hit that little notification bell. And you'll see exactly when I am up and getting ready to go for my live stream. That way you won't miss out on anything else. Because I'm going to be working on this tentacle creature a lot more on Saturday. And I want you to come along with me, ask some questions, maybe even throw some tips or tricks my way. Because I'm not perfect. I'll never be perfect. I'll never be happy with where I'm at.
Either way, thank you so much for watching Do You Even Art, Episode 5. I'm that Stephen Rice. Hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming along.